Welcome back everybody, it's LaRue, this is The Herd, and firstly I gotta thank everybody for the attention that you guys have been showing this conversion, that is greatly appreciated, and I'm tired of calling this thing the old truck, the truck, the U-Haul, so I decided it needs a name, and I want you guys to name it, so let's together give it an internet name, and also, wait, there's more, <laughs> I will do a giveaway to the best name. So let's name the truck together and the best name, the name that I'd like the best will receive a gift. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you what it is and how to get it. But besides all that, I've got some new projects that I want to show you guys. So let's get to them. But I'm going to start outside with none other than the steps. I just added these Flexco steps. They're 26 inches wide and about 12 inches high I believe and what I did was just uh, put a platform a 2 by 12 platform because that was the length of them too 12 inches so I put a 2 by 12 platform under them to kind of try to stabilize them and then I put them on top of that and then I installed a top step with the same 2 by 12 they're not as sturdy as I'd like them to be but we're getting there I used a couple of these like loop uh, bolts um, in order to hold them on the side and I still need something to attach um, to maybe the pop, top part to try to stabilize them um, they do fold in kind of the bottom step goes up and the whole thing folds up inside of there so I think that came out pretty good um, let me fold them back out and go in and I'll show you guys what else I did. I made some cushions for the benches and turned this into this. I ordered some pre-sized six inch foam from Amazon. I threw it on the benches and traced it out. And then I cut it with an electric kitchen knife. And I would warn those doing this for the first time, like me, don't force the knife, just let it cut through the foam and that'll give you the straightest edges. Also from Amazon, I ordered some cushion covers that were about the size that I was cutting the foam into. And then I just sim simply put them over the uh, cut foam and they fit really well. I've never been able to have a team like this. This ever. is the balloon one. Yes. Okay, explain this. Okay, so I went to YouTube with crazy. All that work into finishing the cushions allowed me to finish off the dinette and finally turn it into a bed. The dinette made the third place to sleep along with the living room and the mom's attic over the cab. I figured you guys might want to see the transformation from bed to table or vice versa, so here it is. The next upgrade is in the bathroom, but it is not the shower. That's right, it's the toilet. I finally got a toilet. It is a Thetford. The model number is escaping me, but a few details about it. It does have its own freshwater tank and gray water tank. No plumbing required. It just needed a 12 volt hookup in order to run the pump, which it does have an electric flush, which is what that blue button is on the side. And it also has a level indicator, which is the slider thing right above the blue button. 
So here we are back in the electrical cabinet. I've done some upgrades to it. I added two more uh, six volt Duracell 235 amp hour batteries for a total of four, giving me, um, what is that? 4,000 and some odd watt hours. Uh, I still use my Go Zero Yeti 1000 to run the 110 and I got a fast charger um, for that this time around. In order to those days i need you know that that uh, extra draw and power but i do also have a regular five amp uh, charger that it comes with and that seems to work great most of the time but yeah on those days where i need more power uh going to the goal zero for the 110 i will use that fast charger and it seems to work great so far um i still also do have my 1800 watt xantrex inverter and that's what i use to charge the goal zero uh, for the 110 off of the battery bank. So it kind of keeps all the loads light on every um, component, which I think will lengthen the life of everything. Uh, at least that's the goal, if all goes well. So yeah, upgraded the battery bank, two more batteries, fast charger for the Go Zero, and um, I couldn't be happier with it all. I've had the refrigerator and microwave uh, matching set sitting around my house for a while and I decided to go ahead and throw those in there. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, four projects down. That's the, the bed, the steps, the batteries, and the toilet. Like I said in the beginning, this is a giveaway and the item is a Thetford C263S toilet. Um, it's a great toilet, big ticket item. I'm sure a lot of you guys could use it in your conversion and how you get it is, go ahead and just leave a comment and I'll, I'll keep it simple. Randomly select someone out of the comments who needs the toilet and uh, I will pick you and send it to you. Um, my pleasure to give back to this community who has given so much to me um, in some form of ideas and positivity and stuff. So it's, it's just a great feeling to be able to give it back. So once again, if you want the Thetford C263S toilet, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll randomly select someone out of the, out of the comments to give it to. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.